scientists, welcome back to the lab. I am so glad you're here because we are doing a rainbow experiment to show how water can move. Okay, so the first thing I have here is a cup of water and I have a paper towel. So water is really cool because these molecules are able to work together to move. So let me show you what I mean. If we take a piece of paper towel and we dip it in a cup, you can see how the water moved up the paper towel. Now it's hard to see with just plain water, so we're going to add a little food coloring so that we can really see what's going on here. Couple drops of food coloring. So this is what we're going to do. We have one cup that has the food coloring, water in it, and then one cup that's empty. So we're going to take this paper towel and we're going to build a bridge across the cups. Now, I don't want it to be too long. I just want it to be long enough to be in each cup. So. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, that's about, that's, that's about right. So we're gonna put one end in the empty cup and then we're gonna dip one end into the cup with water. And immediately you could see the color of the food dye start to travel up the paper towel. So it's already like up to the edge of the cup. That's amazing. Now you can see the purple on top. It looks like it's heading towards the empty cup. Let's see if it's gonna make it over the bridge. So this is what's called capillary action. While we wait for this to happen, because it might take a couple more minutes, I wanna kind of zoom in, use our imagination to zoom in and see what's going on with these water molecules. So let's pretend that these are individual water molecules that are in this cup. In this cup, there are millions of these water molecules. So water molecules are really cool because they are attracted to each other. They like to stick together. So we can take some tape and stick these together. So this water molecule is attracted to this one so that they kind of stick together like that. And this water molecule is attracted to another water molecule. Oop, oop, oop. So as the water molecules are traveling up and over this paper towel, they're sticking together one at a time so they can make it across. The other part of it is that they're also sticking to the paper towel. The water molecules are attracted to the paper towel and they're sticky, they stick to it. And they're also attracted to each other. So as they travel up the paper towel, they're sticking to the paper towel and they're sticking to each other. That's the way they're kind of walking over this paper towel bridge into the empty cup. And this whole process here is called capillary action. If you go outside, you can see examples of capillary action all over the place because this is how plants and giant trees get water from their roots all the way up to the leaves and branches. So looking back at our cup here, we are almost there. You see the, there's a lot of purple here. And what's really cool is it kind of faded into this like blue and you can follow the streak of blue down here and it looks like we're so close. We're so close to having some of the water empty out into this cup. This is so suspenseful. So, okay, so as we wait for the last droplets of water to empty into the cup, we're going to set up the rainbow version of this. You need a paper towel again. So we wanna fold it. We're going to add color onto each end of the paper towel to see if it'll meet in the middle. So we're gonna draw a rainbow. So we'll start with red. And we wanna do the same color on the same side or the same color at the same height. Thank you. 
So this is what we're working with here. We've got our bridge with rainbow on each side so that the colors match up as best as possible. And we're going to take a cup with water and a cup that's empty. This is so cool. So we're starting to see some of the rainbow travel to the top. So I'm kind of thinking, hmm, maybe we should add some water to this cup so that it can come up halfway and maybe they'll meet in the middle. Okay, I have some water. We're going to experiment a little. We're gonna add water to this side. So the rainbow met in the middle. It looks like maybe we didn't have enough ink for the red and the orange parts because they kind of faded towards the top, but it's definitely looking rainbowy. Okay, let's check in on our other one and see how that one did too. And is there water? There is, there is, look. We got our first drops of water that made it all the way across. And if you leave this for long enough, you'll start to get a lot more water filling this empty cup. So you can experiment with different designs and different colors and see what it looks like after it finally makes it across. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. And if you like this video and you wanna do some more science experiments, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.